I try and keep reminding myself that it's just a game, that none of this is important, but that doesn't mean I don't try very hard. The first race I did was Memorial Day 1972. So we're starting the 42nd year. And I raced every year of those 42 years. Never missed a year. I was the first American to ever win a race at the Isle of Man. I won the 1984 Senior Historic TT. When they heard that Dave had ridden my bike a couple times, their eyes were big and they regard him almost as, as a king today. Back in 72, I saw a poster for this race in Bridgehampton on Long Island. Didn't have any idea what we were getting into or, you know, and started the race. And again, it was passing people in the corners and getting passed down the straight. And I went like this for about three laps. And then uh, the bike seized, the motor seized, and my mind seized and locked up and I crashed and sky ground, sky ground. And, uh, I had a little blood in my urine and spent the night in the hospital and was totally hooked that this was for me. This was really it. You know. so that was my first race. I've, I've broken somewhere in the neighborhood 20, 25 bones, um, but they've all been relatively small bones. The physical condition of some of the racers around here is questionable at best. Man feeding himself with a handful of pills there. Look at that. All of a sudden, I saw the smoke, and then Dave was down. I've broken a bunch of ribs. I've broken four or five clavicles, metacarpals, uh, metatarsals. I knew it was damp, and I knew it. You know. Broke the hell out of my collarbone and broke some ribs and punctured my chest, collapsed the lung. There must be an ambulance around here. I avulsed the ends of these two fingers. I got it caught in the chain. I reached down to turn off the fuel, and somehow the glove got caught in the in the sprocket and boom and whoa, that hurt. You know, I must have torn off a fingernail or something. You know and we pull off the glove and, and these two fingers are just pumping blood. The corner worker found the end of one of the fingers on the racetrack, but it had been sitting out in the sun too long and it didn't take. In a way, I'm really lucky. I, I sort of figured out what I like to do very early and, and I'm really in, in a rut. I'm in a very deep, deep rut, you know, doing the same thing over and over, but it's a very comfortable rut, you know? And, and uh, I love doing it. I love, um, when you're out in the track, there's all these things in flux. And I love that situation where you're juggling a bunch of different parameters. I don't know, and I, I love that scenery whizzing by me and, you know, why does the dog chase a car? <laughs> They're just programmed to do it. And, I got that gene in me, I guess. I just love chasing stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I go through a corner and I say, yeah, that's right. That's, how, that's what you should be doing every lap, you know? And if I did the perfect lap, then I said, I'm done. You know? <laughs> I can retire now. I sort of doubt it, though. <laughs>